Okay, well, I've been watching all these greatest football games, and I'm running out of them, actually. I have, what, there's ten of them in here, so I'm on next game's disc six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's five. That's five of them left in the Packers, and then one more left in the New York Giants set, and then I'm done. I'm going to have to buy more. And I think I bought most of the football ones, so... The, uh, the rest of the ones in football are too expensive. I might have to look at hockey or basketball next. All right, so I watched number five, the Packers versus the Bengals. And, you know, I didn't really pay attention because the game was really boring at the beginning. But Brett Favre made a big comeback at the end. And this was um, Packers versus Bengals, September 20th, 1992. So a long time ago. That's probably why the picture looked like it was a little shitty because it was a long time ago. But that was okay. The announcers were horrible. I don't know who they were. This was a regular game, so I guess it was just one of those regular regular announcers. If it was a playoff game or a Super Bowl, you'd probably have the good old John Madden, my favorite person of anything to do with football. And um, Pat Summerall, I think was his name. And sometimes you had that other guy, Al Michaels. Or you'd have somebody that you'd want to listen to. Um, <laughs> Forgive me if I said the guy's name's wrong. I'm not familiar, very familiar with it. But it's nice to have someone decent to listen to in a football game other than these generic people. Imagine getting stuck watching, like the Patriots, watching them generically on our channels. It's horrible. I can't watch them regardless. All right. Bye-bye.